Hey everyone, welcome back. In this video, I'll give you a complete guide to spot trading on KuCoin. We'll cover how to use the trading terminal, how to place market and limit orders, and a couple of essential tools like RSI and MACD that can help you with basic technical analysis. But before we start, here's something important. If you're new to KuCoin, make sure you sign up with the referral code QBASU8P7. That unlocks a welcome bonus of up to 10,800 USDT. It's a great way to start trading with some extra rewards. We have full videos on how to claim all the bonuses, so check those out if you don't want to miss anything. All right, let's dive into the terminal. At the top left, you'll see your trading pair. Here we're on BTC slash USDT. You can search for other coins like ETH or SOL by clicking there. Before you can place any order on KuCoin, you'll need to set up a trading password. This is a six-digit code that you create in your account security settings. Every time you confirm an order, KuCoin asks for this password. It adds an extra layer of protection and is required for spa trading, so make sure you set it up in advance. Also remember that to trade on the spot market, you need to have USDT or USDC in your account, since most pairs are based on these stable coins. Okay, in the middle of the screen, you have the price chart. This is powered by TradingView, so it's quite advanced but still user-friendly. You can switch the time frame, for example, 15 minutes if you're day trading, or one day if you're looking at the bigger picture. Now, if you're new to trading, Two indicators that are really helpful are the RSI and the MACD. RSI, or Relative Strength Index, is usually displayed as a line below the chart. It moves between 0 and 100. If RSI is above 70, it means the asset might be overbought. A lot of people are buying, so a pullback could happen. If it's below 30, it's oversold, meaning it might bounce back up. MACD, or Moving Average Convergence Divergence, shows momentum and trend changes. It has two lines and a histogram. When the MACD line crosses above the signal line, it's often a bullish sign. When it crosses below, it can be bearish. Beginners don't need to go too deep into it, but even just looking at those crossovers can help you avoid bad entries. On the right side, you'll see the order book. Red numbers are sell orders, green numbers are buy orders. Next to that, the recent trades panel shows the latest activity in real time. Now, look to the far right. This is the place order panel. Here you can select limit, market, or advanced orders. A market order means buying instantly at the best available price. Simple and quick. A limit order lets you set your own price. For example, if Bitcoin is 116,600 USDT, but you only want to buy it 115,000, you just type that in, enter the amount, and your order will sit in the book until the price reaches your level. At the bottom of the screen, you'll see open orders, order history, and trade history. This is where you can manage your active positions, cancel orders, and review what you've done before. And that's the full walkthrough. Now you know how to navigate the KuCoin spot trading terminal, how to use basic indicators like RSI and MACD for decision making, and how to place both market and limit orders. Don't forget, when registering, enter the referral code KITUBASU8P7 to claim up to 10,800 USDT in welcome bonuses. Thanks for watching. If this video helped you out, drop a like, subscribe, and check our other KuCoin tutorials to keep learning. See you in the next one.